It was an interesting season for Hull with the off-field problems they had with the chairman, Asim Alam, who wanted to change the club's name to Hull Tigers, which the fans deeply opposed and in the end I don't think he was able to pull that off. But on the pitch it was a great success for them, a hugely successful season, one of the best they've ever had in their history. Obviously a lot of people would have expected them to go down and um, they didn't do loads of business in the transfer window last summer but Steve Bruce proved himself probably to be a better manager than a lot of people gave him credit for and they were hard to play against particularly at home. It surprised a few people, they beat uh, Liverpool in, in December strengthened a little bit in January and then came the bonus of getting to the FA Cup final in which they were 2-0 up against Arsenal after 20 minutes. Ended up losing in the end but a day that all Hull fans will remember and this season though because of that they've got to contend with Europe. Tom Ince is an interesting addition, someone who comes with probably a big reputation. Robert Snodgrass is a good signing, someone who despite being part of a Norwich City side that went down was their best player. He's done well for a couple of years in the Premier League. So that's a good signing for them, Some, who gives them a little bit more creativity, particularly on the wings, which is maybe where they were a little bit lacking last season. They romped to the Championship title last year, 102 points, clearly the best team in the Championship. What does that mean? Well, not all that much, always.